this episode, we install the roof rack, we fit the water tank, and we get all the light bar wiring done. Enjoy. Alright, welcome back. Okay, today we are going to be installing a 43 litre water tank. Got the tank, got all the hoses, um, got all the wiring, got all the fittings, got the pump. Got a 9.5 litre a minute pump, I'm pretty sure it is. 9.5. Uh, I've already wired a plug onto there. Plenty of wiring. All the fittings I need, which I have already got on the tank as well, which I need to um, put some plumbers tape on. But that tank right there is going to fit under here. And it takes up about uh, half the space I have under there, so should come out to about here somewhere. And we'll have some running water in the bus. Okay, so before the water tank went in and I done all of the plumbing for that, I fitted the roof rack the day before. So let's sit back and watch that now. Okay, this roof rack came off a patrol and the feet that were attaching it to the roof on the patrol are just too short for this application. So I got a set of 20 centimeter tall feet from a company called OCAM. I'll put all the links in the description and stuff for those, uh, but they are perfectly suited for the high top roof on the van and just heaps of adjustability, which I ended up playing with a fair bit to get it right with a bit of weight and stuff. So it doesn't touch the roof, uh, but yeah, here we go. Getting them all attached. <laughs> Everybody needs a hit. Everybody needs a hit. Everybody needs a hit. Okay, here I am just installing a light bar on the top of the roof rack. Unfortunately, there is no footage of actually installing the roof rack on the car as it's two meters high and um, a bit of a stretch to get it up there onto the roof. It was a lot of fiddling around and stuffing about to get it up there, so I didn't film it at all. And so the next clip you will be watching now is the uh, fitted product. Okay guys, there it is. The roof rack is done and on. I stopped recording before because it turned into a bit of a pain in the ass. But our brother-in-law to come over and help me put it on and it turned into a bit of a mission. So I didn't film anything. But uh, but yeah, she's on now. She's on. Full drive super center rack. OCAM feet. 
and I actually ended up keeping just this part of the other feet that were on there just because they are actually thicker metal so theoretically they're a bit stronger so I kept them on there but yeah no, she's perfect eh? beauty can't wait to get some stuff up there keep going on some adventures How we doing? I am now on the way to try and find some stupid tea pieces. These ones I think are leaking, so we're gonna go check it out. 
See if we can find a couple. No good so far, so let's keep searching. All right, I couldn't be fucked going, driving around, uh, looking for all these stupid tea pieces. So, come to my favorite place in the world, good old Bunnings, and just brought a shitload of hose clamps. Hopefully that is going to tighten up the hoses because they were a bit loose. So I think I overreacted that they're cracked, but um, yeah, with these cars, <laughs> you can't fucking play. Box of hose clamps ready to go. Get it. two people but for now not a bad first attempt on my own it is the first time I've tried to take it out on my own so I'm doing well so far quite um quite like that bucket in there, do number twos in. Awnings out too. Yeah, she's perfect. With the snowboard racks on the roof cage there. That's good, quite like that. Fuck yeah. Look at that. What a beast. Guys, how we doing? Got it all set up now. Got the shower tent on the driver's side, got the awning on the passenger side. Let's go have a look, eh? We'll work our way around backwards. All right, obviously, driver's side is the shower tent. We get in on this side, which it is closed at the moment. 
So that's how we get in. It's pretty, pretty spacious once you're inside. Somewhere to hang all your kit once you're in there. Folds away in like literally 15 seconds as well. So here's the back of the van. I'll climb up on the back, show you guys the roof. So we've got our snowboard racks on, ready to go. Fly bar at the front there. That's all gravy. Okay, inside the van. Here's our water. That is on a hose that will come out a lot further. Running from the front of the water tank. That's in another video, so that's uh, it's all separate, that one. This is one drawer, just with some tools and some spares and some games and stuff. This also has a fridge slide on this side. Pulls all the way out, which is heaps of room for us and what we're doing. On this side is mainly food, cooking stuff. This MPI, if you can read it, Mac Pup Industries. I might put a link in there. Anyone with these Adventure Kings drawers, these things are heaven sent. Bottle opener on the side, little tabs for hanging bags or anything off. And it's just another bit of bench space. Just clips on the front of your drawers there like that. And it's just more bench space. Crack a cold one on the side when you want. And it's, yeah, pretty sturdy for what it is. So, fucking so happy with that. And it literally goes over the top of the drawer. And that's it, flat. How good is that? Wings on the side here. They're just um, spares and stuff, but nothing really important in the sides of there. Okay, I had to grab the GoPro because the uh, normal camera was starting to overheat, so back where we were. We're at the back of the car. Awning is on. Bench Kings, two and a half by two and a half. It's bolted straight to the legs. So it sits below the uh, line of the roof rack. If anything hangs off the side, it will not affect the integrity of it at all. Here we go for bed. This um, little bit here does flip up, provide us somewhat of a lounge, if you will, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, usually we just have a flat so we can sleep on it. This is just a Big Daddy Deluxe foam mattress out of a swag, Bench King swag, that we've just folded the end up on just so otherwise it hangs out here. But yeah, that's it. Water pump setup is done. It's on a switch and everything. Perfect. Ready to go as soon as we need water. The tank's about half full at the moment. But that all just sits tucked in behind there. Water tank full under there. Just some shades and stuff for the side. And that's pretty much it. Basic rags, torches, umbrella, first aid, wipes. Just all the basic stuff. Got jump leads under there when we get a flat battery. And that's pretty much it. Nothing special up here. Got boost gauge in the dash. This is all stuff that's on previous videos, so I don't really need to explain that too much. But yeah, this is um this is the rig. She's fucking set up. She is set up, ready to go. My spotties actually currently aren't working. I need to figure out why. I think it's melted a fuse again. Light bar works, does absolutely stuff all. So we're gonna have to get a better one and put a couple on the uh, sides as well. Maybe one on the back, just when we're out in the bush and we need a bit more visibility. I would do also need to get a uni filter, I'm pretty sure, red foam filter for this because it just sucks in ridiculous amounts of dust when we're out in the bush. And yeah, that's it. How good is it? I'm so happy with this thing. Like, it's ridiculous from when we got it. Had to do a bit of work and stuff with the brakes and bits of suspension and some other stuff, but at the moment, it's fucking pretty pimped out. We're fucking loving this. Keen as for adventures, overland and full driving, even just going away for the weekend in the local bush whatever we want really all i need now is a second battery setup and a fridge and that's it we can go anywhere it's basically a house on wheels we've got water we'd have a fridge we don't really have a toilet but just somewhere to do the old drop the kids off if you want to sit a bucket in there 
run a shower in there from the water tank. Happy days, like profit. Actually stoked. For those of you that want to see, this is our water. Oh, let me turn it on. I'll turn it on. So, I still need to um, wire, uh, I still need to mount this switch uh, properly, but that's it. Build pressure, turn her on. That's like ridiculous. She's um beautiful, beautiful fresh water setup. Get in here and turn it off. It's my voltage regulator to uh, turn the pump up and down because nine and a half liter pump with a 43 liter tank. I think it works out to like roughly, roughly five minutes of water. So not long at all. So I need that controller to um just help. Slow the pump down a little bit. And yes, nobody cares. No one cares. That's what I do a little skizzy in the bus. 